Shanzi Mining Ghana Limited provides mining support services to Yinyanya and Pubuotaba small scale mining groups at Bani. The mine has five shafts with permanent staff of 700 Ghanaians. The beneficiary women were drawn from communities such as Bani, Datuku, Kopelga, Dusi, Bung, Sawalek, Shiega, Pal, Patia, Namualok, Tundong, and Yamriga. While some of these women have successfully completed the training in dressmaking, others desirous of the trade but cannot afford sewing machines were sometimes compelled to work in the mining pits, which exposes them to respiratory infections as they inhale dust and other poisonous chemicals without protection. Speaking at the handing over ceremony of the sewing machines in Tongo, Public Relations Officer of Sanji Mining Limited, Maxwell Woma, said the intervention is part of the company's corporate social responsibility to tackle rural poverty among women in mining areas. Today, we are pleased as a company to touch the lives of 110 women from our district with sewing machines. Each beneficiary shall go home with a brand new sewing machine as we can see here. These beneficiaries, well identified, assessed and selected by our revered chiefs, elders and honorable assembly members of the various communities, are women who have either learned the skill of dressmaking but lack the sewing machines to start the business, or are those desirous of acquiring the skills but cannot afford sewing machines to enroll at any learning center, enterprise, or shop. The gift shall, that shall offer each one of you, the beneficiaries today, a lifetime income generating trait which shall turn around your domestic economies with immeasurable multiplier effect. You shall acquire skills, earn income to run your families, educate your children, and settle general bills. We see this as a significant empowerment of our women, with which they shall combat poverty, restore lost self-esteem, and create peaceful homes. Some of the beneficiaries spoke to City Business News. Assembly member for the Kopelga electoral area, Lydia Miela, commended Sanji for their support and appealed for assistance in the areas of educational and health infrastructure. It is a very good thing because uh, those who have benefited, most of them are widows, most of them are single parents, most of them are school drops out, who are learning vocation but they can't afford to buy their own sewing machines. So I think this will help them gain, gain something. They can gain their own employment, they can feed their own family. So I'm very, very happy with this intervention from Shanxi. Yeah, I think Shanzi, we still need school buildings. My, school, uh, my community needs school. We need water, we need a chief's camper. So 
building chips compounds for the catchment areas. So Kolpelga is one of the catchment areas they are attacking to do their life scale mining. So I pray and hope that they will come and build a chips compound for Kolpelga. Reporting for City Business News, I am Frederick Awuni, Tongo, Talense District.